Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Clever Octopus. Uh, you can see I've been hard at it already, as usual. Um, yeah, this episode we're going to work on the centerboard. I'm just going to try and get it all cleaned up, ready for paint. Uh, I'm not going to paint it quite yet because there's a lot of dust and dirt and sparks flying around in there. So, uh, yeah, but I think we can get it all the way to the edge of paint and uh, we'll leave it right there. So, let's get started. Here, sorry about this post in my way. I don't have a better place to put the camera right now. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get these zincs taken off of here and then I'm going to use a wire brush with the grinder to strip all this paint off.
Well, we get down to the last of the things that I need to do to the center board here. Um, the sheaves need to be replaced and this housing for them needs to be wire brushed. But right now I'm going to get rid of these two bolts here. Now, I suspect that these were some bungs that were put in to either allow fuel, like diesel fuel or whatever, to be poured in right before they finished it so rust wouldn't accumulate inside. Or maybe even, uh, since this boat's design is based on a Damien 2, on the Damien 2, the centerboard is actually a full keel and it's actually a diesel tank. So it would have fittings for in and out. But there's only two here, there's no vent line, so yeah, these, I'm not sure what these are for. Um, I'm not going to use them, so I'm just going to cut them off and weld it shut if it needs to be welded shut. So let's get it done. pretty quick. Um, there's no holes underneath there. Uh, yeah, they were just studs that were welded on, so I don't know if they were used for holding zincs on, or maybe at some time there was some kind of shroud here or something, but uh, for me, they needed to go because they were just collecting rust, so uh, later on, if I need to attach some accessory there, I'll just sand down the paint and weld on whatever I need. So that's the beauty of a steel boat. All right, so off camera, I gave the um, pulleys here a little bit of a polish with the wire brush on the angle grinder. And uh, I was concerned that this stainless steel pin here in the middle might be corroded or not that great because it was really caked with stuff. But after I got all that junk off of there with the wire brush, it actually looks fine. So I'm going to try and remove it and hopefully the condition is actually as good as it looks and we won't have to do anything, just replace the pulleys here. This cotter pin did it right. They only spread the legs out about 15 to 20 degrees. On the other side, they wrapped the legs all the way around the pin. Now, that might seem safer, but if something were to happen and those legs were to get clipped or you know damaged or whatever, uh, there's less material left there at that edge for them to, to hold on to. And when they're bent all the way back like that, to me they end up at a funny angle and they're more likely to get snagged on things usually. Um, but at any rate, you just don't need to bend them all the way back over themselves like that. 15 to 20 degrees will keep that pin from coming back out of there. And it's much easier to get out in the end when you need to. Now, never 
prefer to use your cotter pins. They stretch and they get work fatigued. So always just get a new one unless you absolutely have no other choice. Okay, so this was just the extension from a, a soccer wrench breaker bar, three quarters inch, inch extension. They're made to stand up to some abuse, which obviously you need here. Okay. Well, we almost did it. Uh, we got all the way except for welding the stainless steel studs on for the zincs, so um, that won't take too long and I want to make sure that I have the passivating solution to um, get all the nasty corrosion causing elements out of the metal after I have the stainless steel welded on there. Um, yeah, but we'll get to that in another episode, so thanks for watching.